have the, the good fortune to have the money yeah. and the youth yeah. go to <laughs> study in the Silk Kitchen, Bidder and Cure. You will learn all about courts, yeah? It was you were there in Rick. And does anybody know what the method to make an accord is? The idea of an accord is that when two or more smells become a single different smell, neither of those starting materials are obvious. So how could you make it? Anybody in any of the third how to make this? Sorry? You're not very audible. Okay. Louder. <laughs> How, if you go to Ipska, they, they will teach you how to make accords. Do you know the method they teach you to make accords? Sorry? You get two materials. Sorry? No, no. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, it's John Carl's method. One and nine, two and eight. Yeah, okay. So you get two materials for accords. Okay, because I want to know. Accords. You get two materials. So, uh, let's say, Ilang Ilang and Benzyl Salicylate. And what you do is you get one part of ylang ylang and nine of benzyl salicylate, two and eight, three and seven, four and six, five and five, six and four, seven and three, eight and two, nine and one. Yeah, and what you do is you smell all the samples and you choose the one where the smells seem to, to be in equilibrium in the headspace, yeah? Is that, is that parts? That's parts, yeah, yeah, one, one to nine, yeah. So this could be drops if we were doing it here. Yeah. Yeah, so let's say you found your best one was here and here, but not quite yet in balance. So what you now have to do is do 2.5 and 7.5, yeah? And maybe 2.7 and 7.3, yeah? And then you eventually find the point at which they make a, a new smell, yeah? A single, a single note. Accords rarely just contain two ingredients, so the next step is to add ingredient number two. We add our musk ketone. How many experiments do we have to do? It's an ex you, you know the answer to this. Is. It's an exponential thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Now we have 100 experiments to do. Yeah. Because we have three, three possibilities. We've got 99... Yeah, one and, yeah, 99, 98, one and one, and yeah, we go on. But this will be diluted with everything we do that you add to the food. Yeah. This is maddening, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so really, if you, if you, if you study the Jivadan school, you'll do this for months at a time. Yeah? You'll be working on these, these different blends. When you're introduced to a new material, you then start to mix it with other materials. So it's actually an unlimited process. But they do this, I think, like two ingredients, Well, actually, what happens if you add the must now, that upsets the balance, so you actually have to do it again. So it's... 
So really, the best way to do is all three, and then you have to do 100 experiments. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Have a yes. Do it by hand. If you, if you go to Versailles, yeah, you do it by hand. If you go into Perfumer's World, we have a shortcut. <laughs> Anybody know what the shortcut is? Anybody worked it out? Sorry? Well, guess and try, yeah? Yeah, like um, Edward de Bono's, you know, lateral thinking. Let's just, just try something like weird. Yeah, that's... That's one way to do it. Any other way? Yeah, but I, you, I'm going to get you, I want you to do a course today, not, not, not in three weeks' time. <laughs> What's the shortcut? Look at the yes, look at the impacts. Yeah, because if you actually think about it, what did I ask you about those five materials? What would we have to do to get the impact so that the, the level in the headspace was the same? So it's a simple division with the impact to calculate how much you need to get in the headspace. Because the impact tells you is a combination of odor response and um, vapor pressure. So if you get them in balance, this is more than likely where you'll find the equilibrium between the two smells. So you can do actually 20 smells and get them in equilibrium, yeah, in a matter of minutes uh -huh. with the impact, yeah, and it's and it's the quick way to to start, yeah. Can you give yes. you a formula for why that? Um, It's um, it's the same as that. I have to work through it because I don't have a formula immediately in my head, so I've got to work it out. <laughs> um, so we have isoamyl acetate with an impact of 800, and we have PA with an impact of... 60. And linalol with an impact of 100. So one. So it's impact. One hundred over impact. Sorry, artificial nose. The electronic noses are in development, but all they are used for basically is uh, sniffing drugs at airports um, and for detecting uh, vegetables that or fruit that's gone off on production lines. But but there's not it's not yet practical, and I'll explain that. I think tomorrow I'll talk about electronic nose a little bit, how it works. Yeah, so impact over 100, yeah. Okay. The thing with this is done, is if you blend two materials in, but over time... It yeah, because it will change. Okay. So, two, two questions there. One is, one is what's the purpose of, of making, making a, an accord? An accord is, in building terms, the keystone. It's the thing that holds the perfume together. A good accord will last as long as your perfume lasts. Yeah? And it's like the theme that runs through your, your perfume. Yeah? This accord here between these three is the accord that's used in Le Du Tom. Yeah? In Nina Richie's Le Du Tom. Yeah, these three ingredients.
No. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to come across what we would do with something very volatile. Yeah. Uh, in the workbook, yeah, there is actually a, like a button you can push to make an accord, and it does the calculation for you. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if you get the situation where you have uh, very volatile notes, then we use what we call an inverse accord. Yeah. And that's one over one over a hundred, yeah. So what you're looking you're looking for impact over a hundred, over one hundred. And the purpose of that is that when you get something volatile, if you only have a really really tiny amount in there, it can't reach the surface, so it doesn't evaporate. So what you have in evaporation is what we call half-life. So you have a curve, yeah? So if you get, clo the closer you get to zero, yeah, the more that the material evaporates evenly with everything else, yeah? And you get what's called an azeotropic mixture. Azeotropic mixture means that when you get two things with different volatilities, they reach like an equilibrium, and then they start to evaporate as one, because they can't escape without the other one escaping. Azeotropic. A Z E O T R O P I C, yeah. yeah. And in the in the workbook, you'll see that in the auto modification wizard, yeah, it says make an inverse accord. And that's used for that, that situation where you get things with very different uh, volatilities. There was a, s did I answer the second question? Oh, that was the second, yeah, I did, yeah, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're, you'll, fi you'll find a perfume that's, that's poorly, and the term is used, compounded, yeah, where things are not quite in balance, is that it, it's, it smells as though it has steps in it. You know, it's citrus, and then it's floral, and then it's woody, yeah? Not, it's citrus floral, floral citrus, floral, floral woody, woody floral, woody. That's the art of blending. I mean, accords is the art of blending. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> yes. But like I said, if if you're trying to make an accord, like let's say for the top note or something, and you had cissary hexanol, which is quite volatile, half an hour, and then you had uh, dupical, which has a life of maybe. 36, 48 hours, yeah? In order to get them to evaporate evenly, you have to only use a tiny amount of the very volatile material, yeah? So it can't escape from the mixture, yeah? You could put in a lot, but if you put in a lot, what you get is that step. You get the cissary hexanol, and then it will settle down to an azeotropic mixture, yeah? But what you want to do is introduce that mixture early on so that it doesn't give you a green floral, yeah? You want it green, gently changing to floral. Then, then you feel that the, the perfume is, yeah, is following a, a theme, yeah? It's a change you expect.